With the walls, windows, and doors in place, let's design our kitchen and bath. Before we start, let's name the room. Naming rooms can be an important and time-saving step in creating our house plan. You will notice that we can adjust settings, including floor and ceiling heights, moldings, wall coverings, and room structure attributes like ceiling vaults. We'll go ahead and define this room as a kitchen by selecting it from the Room Type drop-down. Notice that we now have the room label and the interior dimensions. Now let's place our cabinets while in a 3D view. Choose the floor camera and drag toward the area and release. We will start by placing base cabinets in the corner of the room. To place a cabinet, simply select the cabinet tool, then click where you want the cabinet. Chief Architect will automatically create a corner cabinet when we click near the corner. As we return back to our 2D view, you can see the placement of the cabinets. Note the virtual graph paper represents one foot increments. Now let's position this base cabinet that will contain our sink on the window. First, I'll resize the cabinet by selecting the drag handles and adjusting it to the desired size. Using the center tool, I will center it on the window. Finally, I'll add a sink to the cabinet by choosing one from our catalog and place it into the cabinet. With the cabinet centered, let's place the remainder of the base cabinets. Note that we can choose a variety of cabinet configurations for the base cabinets, or you can customize the cabinets as we did with our windows and doors. To explore these options, open the cabinet specification. You can see all the options you have available to customize your cabinets, including door styles, drawers, countertops, hardware, and much more, enabling you to literally create thousands of cabinet combinations. In the case of the base cabinet with the sink, let's remove the drawer. Now, let's change the door and drawer styles for all the base cabinets. I'll group select the base cabinets, then I'll browse to the cabinet catalog to choose a style. You can select generic or name brand styles. In this case, I'll choose a Huntwood style. Now in a 3D view, you can see the new style. Let's make one final change to the cabinets and change the color. Again, we'll browse to the Huntwood cabinet colors, and using the stain mode of the material painter, I'll apply the new color. With the material painter, you can change the color and material of any object in your design. Now that we have the base cabinets in our plan, we will repeat this process for our wall cabinets by choosing the wall cabinet tool and clicking above the base cabinets to place them. Just as we did for the base cabinets, we can set the door style. For a couple of the cabinets, let's change the door style to glass. Then for all of the wall cabinets, let's define a crown molding. And now you can see how it appears in 3D. You can easily create custom shapes to your cabinets for bow and concave shapes. When you are finished creating a custom cabinet or grouping of cabinets, such as a kitchen island, you can create an architectural block, save it to the custom library, and use it for future design work. To add appliances, we'll go to the library in the Appliance folder and select the items by clicking on the item and then clicking on the cabinet. In this case, we'll place a cook range in this cabinet and a hood above. For those appliances that are not placed in cabinets, like a refrigerator, click to place it outside the cabinet. With thousands of items in the library catalog, you can find a wide variety of items to place in your design to help you visualize and plan for space. Now that we have our cabinets placed, let's change the backsplash material. Using the Material Painter tool, let's choose a style from the catalog. Now just point and click. If you want to use a material you found on another website or digital photo, you can import it into Chief Architect and use that specific material to make your design options unlimited. With all of the cabinets in place, let's use our wall elevation camera and place dimensions for the kitchen. With the wall elevation, you can toggle the color on and off depending on the view you desire. With the dimension tool, I'll drag a dimension through the base cabinets. Now I'll change my default dimensions from feet to inches and also change the arrow style. Once I complete the elevation details, I send them to a layout page at which time I can define the scale of the drawing. The layout area is where you create your construction documents and is discussed further in the plan sets section. With Chief Architect, you'll find powerful design tools to design great kitchens and baths. Want to see just how great? All you need to do is take a snapshot and use them to sell more to your clients.